short-term factors. We're coming out of the pandemic and there's still disruptions from that. So during the pandemic, people were furloughed, people lost incomes, they went back home, they moved to cheaper areas and now everyone's coming back to city centres and it's putting pressure on those city centres. That's true and that's a short-term reason that this is happening perhaps. But I think there's also what's really important is the longer term trends here. Historically, um, rent as a share of your disposable income, which is related to this data, has been going up for a long time. It's been on an upward trend since the 1980s. And this is a structural reason. You know, it's the way in which our housing market is structured to sort of um, benefit the landlords and, you know, give power to landlords over tenants and that balance of power has really become um, unstable and um, we know that housing policy since the 1980s has removed protections for renters. It's removed rent controls and protections around evictions. So th this is where we find ourselves in a place where um, renters don't have enough sort of um, scope for being able to find decent, secure and affordable homes.